years and years, the legend George St. Pierre, former UFC welterweight champion, former UFC middleweight champion in DC as one of the most decorated wrestlers on this UFC roster. You gotta be pretty amazed at what this man has been able to accomplish without any amateur wrestling credentials to speak. Yeah, with no background, the guys that he's been in there with and controlled the wrestling exchanges has truly been unbelievable to watch. I was in Canada when he fought Josh Koscheck and he took Josh Koscheck, who's an NCAA champion, down whenever he needed to. Right. But it was also the strike that made him so dangerous. I remember George St. Pierre had this combination. It was a lead jab, a lead Superman jab, and a little leg kick. Everyone wanted to try and do it, and they say imitation is the greatest form of getting a compliment. We all tried to beat George St. Pierre. And he's got more SPs than he's done. He's a man. <laughs> It does. I mean, he does. He has a beautiful jab, and I've seen him do so much damage with that jab. You know, I, I keep calling back to fights, but I remember him and Josh Koscheck. The moment the fight started, bang, jab, broken orbital bone. If Koscheck in Canada, fight's over. George St. Pierre does not throw a range-finding jab. He throws that jab with malicious intent. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, 
drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he goes that Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Two minutes to go. That left hook was crazy. Right on the button. Crazy numbers round one. The right hand just misses. Let's go, you can do this. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by GSP. So 28 total strikes have landed. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, huge left. Unable to land with that punch. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he can cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. How about that round? He got him badly there early on. You thought that maybe that was going to be the beginning of the end. At the very least here, got to think he's going to try to get him out of here in this next round. J.A., he's on skates. I mean, he was on skates. His ability to withstand that avalanche is commendable, but he has to change something as he approaches the next round. You ready? You ready? Go All right, round two. Head off. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, if you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. sides with conviction. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. going on in and around that right thigh. May want to check a leg kick or two. This fight's going to be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the fish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. 
circling towards the left now. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh man, is he on wobbly legs. McGregor's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Good All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. All right, well, that blow is bosseting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is back to his feet. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, big round. And now he's got his opponent hurt. This is crazy round of fighting. Clean execution on that leg kick. Oh, Next three God. rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Well, remarkably, his opponent is still in it. The round is over. Multiple knockdowns there. What a clinic from Conor McGregor.
You ready to fight? Ready. Good. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so we oh. oh. And he hurts real bad. He still hurt. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston and it lands again. It's like an attaboy. Like he hits people and they fall down. And he understands the power that he possesses. So he's willing to throw it over and over again. I just keep thinking back to him and Eddie Alvarez, how every time he hit him, he just knocked him out of his shoes. Conor McGregor's left hand is as good of a single strike as there is in the UFC. Yeah, he has to register that. <laughs> Big reaction as he absorbs yet another body shot, and you see the referee maybe starting to close the distance a little bit. This could be a TKO in short order. I mean, John, we love violence. I mean, that's why we love our job so much. We get to watch people hurt each other, but it's hard to watch this. Because yeah. This guy is as tough as they come, but these body shots have really accumulated, and he is starting to take way too much damage. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, useful left hand. St. Pierre's definitely taking aim at that cut right now. You see, targeting that area that has already compromised on his opponent. It's not over. It's not over. Keep moving. I want you to make that cut first now. That kick blocked by George St. Pierre. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. It's a trademark inside leg kick there by McGregor. Hands higher, hands higher. Under a minute to go. GSP. Nice loop with bunch. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Final seconds of the round. Oh! oh so what an end to the what? round. He got knocked down just before the final horn. You can classify that as saved by the bell. Really broken down with the strike. Keep that going. Inside low kick is awesome. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, Ready. it might be Ready. good night, Irene. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again. Judging him the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, my goodness. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, misses with the jab. Nice jab by McGregor. Back to the feet now. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips in. Oh, it landed. He hurt. Gregor's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Oh, All right, time to hit the 
Sunoco station. Both of these fighters are on empty. This looks like I played video games as a seven-year-old. <laughs> I didn't know nothing but butt mashing. You two guys have butt mashed to the point that neither one of you can find a knock. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 35 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! All right, so Conor McGregor came in with one of the best knockout ratios in mixed martial arts history, and he adds to his knockout total here tonight. I mean, Conor McGregor is a beast, and that left hand is a weapon of mass destruction. And once again, he got it off, he landed, and got the KO finish.